So we're going to use this video to practice um, taking notes and following along with examples. Um, this is what we'll typically do during a normal lesson. Um, so you all have an Algebra 1 review worksheet in front of you, and we're just going to practice solving equations. We'll need these skills all throughout the year. As you watch the video, it's important that you follow along with me. You take notes. Um, if you have questions or you're, you don't understand how I did something, you should pause the video, maybe jot down that question. So later, when we come together as a whole class during our Q&A time, um, you can ask those questions um, and you remember them, and then we can address those as a whole class. So first, can you please turn your paper over? Um, I have a helpful little visual just in case um, we've forgotten some of our solving equation skills. Um, remember when we solve equations, we're using inverse operations. We want to undo our operations to solve for our variable. So remember um, addition and subtraction, they undo each other. Division and multiplication they undo each other. Those are inverse operations. Those will be the ones you use most frequently. Um, you might remember PEMDAS, your order of operations. When we're solving equations, it might be helpful for you to think um, that since we're undoing everything, you do your order of operations backwards. And I'll kind of explain this more as we do some examples. So number one, we're solving the equation after it focuses, negative 7x equals 84. I always, for some reason, I just got into the habit of drawing a line down my equal sign. It just helps me keep both sides of my equations nice and neat, and I can see what I'm doing to both sides of my equation. I want to get x alone, so I need to get rid of this negative 7 that's out front. Remember, this negative 7x means negative 7 times x. So I want to undo multiplication. The inverse operation of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 7. Remember, whatever you do to one side of your equation, you need to do the same thing to your other side. 84 divided by negative 7 gives me negative 12. And remember, you can always go back take your value for x and plug it back in to see if it makes the equation true. And if it does, you've solved your equation correctly. Number nine, we're going to solve the equation 5x minus 7 equals negative 17. So in this case, um, I have two numbers that I've got to get rid of that are on the same side as x the 5 and the minus 7. I'm going to get rid of the minus 7 first. Because remember, I do my order of operations backwards. So I'm going to get rid of what's being added or subtracted first. So to get rid of this minus 7, I need to do the opposite. So the opposite of subtracting 7 is adding 7. So I'm going to add 7 to both sides. That causes my 7s to cancel, which is what I wanted. I'm left with 5x equals negative 10. And now this becomes similar to the first one we did. To undo the 5, I need to divide both sides by 5. Negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2. Moving on to the back. Number 21, we're going to do together. We're going to solve the equation 3 times the quantity 5x plus 2 equals negative 24. Now, automatically, a lot of you remember that when you see parentheses like this and a number out front, we're going to use the distributive property, which is fine. We can go ahead and do that. 
When I use the distributive property, remember I take the number out front and I multiply it by all the terms inside the parentheses. 3 times 5x is 15x. 3 times 2 is 6. So that's um, one way you can start off solving the equation. Um, there's another way, there's another step you could have taken, and we can talk about that during our Q&A time. If anyone else has a different idea other than the distributive property, what you could have done instead to start out. But we'll just, we'll go with this method because I know that's what most of us see. So now I have this two-step equation, 15x plus 6 equals negative 24. I need to get rid of the 15 and the 6. I'm going to start by subtracting 6 first. I need to get rid of this 6 that's being added. This leaves me with 15x on the left side of my equation. Remember what I do to one side, I do to the other. And on the right side, this leaves me with negative 30. Now I need to undo this 15 that's being multiplied by x by dividing both sides by 15. Negative 30 divided by 15 is negative 2. And the last one we're going to do together is number 23. We need to solve the equation 7x plus 12 equals 4x plus 3. What's different about this equation than the others is that you'll notice there are x's on both sides of our equal sign. Before we um, do anything, it's a good idea to move all of your x terms to one side. It doesn't really matter which one you get rid of. I, I usually get rid of the smaller terms. So I'm going to get rid of this 4x on the right side so that all my x terms are on the left. So since I want to get rid of 4x, I have to think about what's going to undo that and cancel it to 0 so that it's gone. This is a positive 4x. So if I want to get rid of that, I need to subtract 4x. Right? 4x minus 4x is 0, or 0x. Zero Whatever I do to one side of my equation, I have to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 4x on the left. And it's a good idea to line up the terms that have x. Seven x minus four x is three x. My plus 12 just tags along. I can't do anything with the 12 because it does not have an x. It's not a like term with these. And I'm left with three on the right side. And now this turns into a two-step equation. So I'm gonna get rid of 12 by subtracting 12 on both sides. Remember, do the opposite. Three minus 12 is negative nine. And then I'm going to divide both sides by three. And I get x equals negative three is my final answer. So now would be a good time to pause it um, or rewind it if you had any questions. Um, go back and look at something or take a note um, of something that you want to ask during our question and answer time.